Welcome, I'm Pudge007, and today I'm going to show you how to install the first person mod for Resident Evil 2 Remake. Step 1. Make sure that you have DirectX 11 selected. So in order to do this, be sure to go to Options, to Graphics, and then go to Graphics API, and make sure, like I have here, DirectX 11 selected. If DirectX X12 is selected, this mod will not work. Step 2 is to download the mod. First off, I want to give a shout out to Preydog for making this amazing mod. Now the link that I'm using in this video is in the description below. So just visit that link and be sure to click on re2-framework.zip. It should go to your downloads folder. And as you can see here, there it is. Step three is to extract the mod. So just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to drag this folder that we just downloaded onto my desktop. And then I'm going to right click, click on extract all, and then hit extract. And then the mod, see it made a new folder and it opened up for me here. Step four is to install the mod. In this step, open up your games library in Steam, go to the Resident Evil 2 game and right click on the name, go to properties, local files, then click on browse local files. As you can see that opens up our Resident Evil 2 game folder, then what you're going to want to do is the file that you just downloaded. Just click and drag that into the Resident Evil 2 game file uh, folder. And then that's it. That's all you have to do to install the mod. Now to make sure that you installed the mod correctly, all you need to do is open up the Resident Evil 2 game. Then what you should notice on the top left is a new box. On the top it should say RE Framework. Um, and what we're going to be interested in is the uh, section that says first person. Uh, there are also um, manual flashlight and free cam mods with this, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to be focused on the first person aspect of this mod. Now, uh, you can either X out of this if it's in your way, um, but in case that you need to get it back up, just press the insert key on your keyboard and you can also close out of it the same way so you can either press insert to close out of it and also to bring it back up this leaves us with our fifth and final step which is to set up the mod now I would highly recommend not messing with any of the settings until after you open up a game file so go ahead and do that first As you see that the uh, game opened up just like normal. Um, so what you want to do is to bring your cursor over where it says first person. Click on that. And then click on enabled. And now the first person mod is now enabled. Um, another thing that you can see is a thing that's called disable vignette. Um, now if you click on that. As you notice, the, the border um, around the screen actually uh, got a little bit more lighter. So if that's something that you would like, that is an option for you as well. And enjoy the mod. If you have any questions or comments about this video, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. Also, if you found this information useful, be sure to leave this video with a like. Now, if you'd like to check out uh, more videos like this one, or if you also would like to check out my gaming live stream videos, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the icon here. And you can also check out my very first blind playthrough of Resident Evil 2 Remake by checking out this playlist. Again, thanks for watching, and remember, you only get one life to live. Live it to the max.